Captain's Log, Stardate 6724.5. Captain Eric Von Ryan reporting. The USS Yorktown has arrived at planet Corridon, where we are to rendezvous with a shuttlecraft carrying dilithium crystals needed for a warp drive. Standard orbit, Mr. Shepard. Aye, sir. Standard orbit. Lieutenant Graham, any word from the mining colony yet? Nothing as of yet, sir. Captain, sensors are detecting small shuttlecraft approaching. 238 Mark 17. Visual, Mr. Zahn. Commander Foster? Security scanning shows it is an automated mining shuttle. Priority 1 clearance. Federation registry approved. Very good. Message Lieutenant Pond. I am to send his team down to Deck 19 and await the arrival of the dilithium crystals. Engineering. Alpha team to Deck 19 for dilithium detail. Alpha team to Deck 19 for dilithium detail. Opening bay doors. Transferring power to the tractor beam. What the hell just happened? The mining shuttle just exploded on the hangar deck. Emergency bulkheads are closing. <coughs> Catherine, can you hear me? Are you all right? Yes. Yes, I'm all right. Hang on. We're going to get you out of there. <coughs> Captain, we have no power below sea deck. Engineering. McKenna, what's your status down there? Hull breach on deck 19, section 6. We're running on reserve power only. Van Ryan, the pond. We have a hull breach on 19. I need your team to seal off bulkhead 6 and 7. Sir, Lieutenant Bates is trapped in Section 6. Just need a minute to get her out. Sir, the hull breach is expanding towards the port dock. We've got less than one minute before decompression in that section. Seal it off now, Jeff. We can't risk losing the secondary hull. Section RS-32. Hull integrity behind the bulkhead is at 47%. Radiation levels are rising to 58%. Both of the systems are down. I can't bypass the emergency lockout. Lieutenant, I gave you an order. Seal it off now. This is Lieutenant Bates. I'm going to seal the bulkhead from within the chamber. Catherine, wait. We'll have you out in 30 seconds. I'm sorry, Jeff.
Dushka Rinta Hold. Dusha Chekli. Attention, all USS Yorktown personnel, please assemble immediately at transporter room 21 and 22. Good morning, Starshine. Brad, you're early. Never too early for you, Miss Brockmire. I hear you've been promoted to the captain of the Yorktown. Congratulations. Admiral Digby is waiting. Good morning, Bob. Excuse me. Admiral Nagura. Captain, one of our long-range tensor drones was discovered by a Klingon warship within their boundaries. Before it was captured, it managed to limp back into our space and crash land on PAL-3. Calls for a salvage operation. I'm afraid it's not as simple as that. Shark's on the move again. Good morning, Admiral Nagura. Starfleet Intelligence has just uncovered a plot by the Soul Heritage Armed Resistance Corps to capture a sensor drone that crash-landed on Paul III. This xenophobic organization, also known as Shark, is led by a radical named Felton Phineas. One year ago, Phineas and his number one lieutenant, Brent Shandow, planned and executed a terror attack on the USS Yorktown. The badly damaged starship was sent to Starbase 7 for an extensive 12-month refit. Shark follows the teachings of the eco-terrorist Colonel Green. Their primary objective is to drive all aliens out of the Soul Star system. Shark has begun attacking Klingon ships across the neutral zone in an attempt to dissolve the Organian Peace Treaty. Colonel Kumek of the Klingon High Command is declaring that these attacks have been engineered by the Federation and is rallying support among his people for war. If Phineas gets a hold of that sensor drone, the ramifications to the Federation would be disastrous. Based on these developments, Starfleet Intelligence recommends that you send Starfleet assets to Paul III in order to prevent Shark from sinking their teeth into that drone. He's cut out. If the drone should fall into their hands, a state of war will develop between our governments. A more aggressive faction has taken power within the Klingon Empire, ready to invade under any provocation. We've been sending surveillance devices into their space for some time, which you know is a treaty violation on our part. The drone would be evidence of that violation. Exactly. Yorktown's mission is not to recover, but to destroy that evidence. Your crew has been notified to resume duty. Yorktown will have to run her new engines under actual conditions. Our only other hope is one Jeffrey Pond, who is on extended leave on Paul III. Personal log. Lieutenant Jeffrey Pond. An unidentified object has locked onto my emergency subspace transmitter. The object has been broadcasting a Starfleet signal every 30 seconds. Judging by its close proximity to the family cabin, I believe that it may be one of my grandfather's drones. I am heading out to investigate. It has been nearly a year now since I took my leave from Starfleet. As hard as I try, I still can't forgive them. Or myself. For my fiancée Catherine's death. Despite my personal feelings, I am still a Starfleet officer. It is my duty to find the source of this signal and keep it out of enemy hands. I can only hope that Starfleet gets here before they do. Send a coded message to our brothers in the Resistance, informing them we are in pursuit of the drone. Set a course for the Paul Star System, maximum warp. Course laid in, sir.
cool is that? What is it, Damien? Life form. Can't get any specifics, though. Too much interference in this planet. Admiral, Massey from Epsilon 9. Deep Space Communications say York 10 is entering Paul's star system. Shark vessel still orbiting Paul 3. If they transmit on the hour, it will take another two before we get word again. Damn subspace communications lag. This is First Officer Sulu. The ship is on yellow alert. Now entering Paul's star system. First Officer's Log, Stardate 7112.4. Log entry by Lieutenant Commander Hikaru Sulu. Search operations are now underway with all shuttles in flight and landing parties dispersed on the surface. Our recovery efforts will be limited to visual contact as the drone's sensor cloak is active. Another concern. Pond's cabin has been found abandoned and we are distressed over his outcome. We found it. Location now being transmitted to the ship. Was there anyone else? I'm told the camp was made for one. We also found this. The object has been broadcasting a Starfleet signal every 30 seconds. Judging by its close proximity to the family cabin, I believe that it may be one of my grandfather's drones. Who are you? Federation Security? Starfleet Intelligence? The ship can't beam up the drone. It must be the sensor cloak. Have them deactivated. It's no use. It's encoded. He must have the access code. Take him to the drone. Admiral, Yorktown's odds of a successful mission are not good. If this cover fails, you're going to be the scapegoat. Let it be. My career is insignificant when compared to the security of the Federation. We found it. Has everyone beamed up? Yes, sir. In position, awaiting your command. Stand by. Deactivate the sensor cloak, and no tricks, or you die where you stand. Push this button. The cloak will deactivate for two minutes. Najir, are you getting a transporter lock on the drone? We have a solid lock, sir. Then beam me up with it. And what about the Earther? Do what you must. Energize. Commander, I'm picking up a faint signal from the drone. It's coming from the shark vessel. Red alert. Miss Tora. Plot a course to intercept that ship. Mr. Shepard, stand by on phasers. Phasers standing by. 
Federation Starship closing in. Prepare for battle. Star Vessel Najir, this is Commander Evan Foster of the Starship Yorktown. Stand down and prepare to be boarded. Weapons energized and locked on target. Fire! sensor cloak is offline. Offline? Mr. Zahn, is it possible to activate the drone's self-destruct by remote? Unknown, sir. The radiation from the planet's rings is causing interference with the signal. A shark vessel has initiated its warp coils. It's about to jump. Zahn, remodulating now. Mr. Zahn, report. The enemy vessel has been immobilized. No casualties are detected. Sulo. Uh, Coop, check him out. He'll be all right, Captain. It's only a mild concussion. Commander Foster to Captain Frame. Frame here. The threat has been neutralized. Mr. Zahn was able to access the drone's self-destruct and destroyed it inside their cargo bay. It looks like someone deactivated the drone's sensor cloak before it was beamed to their ship. Thank you, Foster. Frame out. You don't think Jeff. <laughs> Yes, Chiana. I have just received word from Deep Space Communications. Drone self-destructed. Disabling shark vessel. The surviving crew members have accepted an invitation to our brig. Returning to base, Captain Bradley Frame. <sighs> Sake's not my usual cup of tea, but after what we've been through... We'll have sherry. <laughs> Hey, Carl, have you noticed the shroud lines? The drone must have landed here. Imagine, he wouldn't have been here if not for Catherine's death. Now it looks like all he needs is a little bit more time. Time? Time to heal.
see